the first thing I thought this morning, once I admitted to myself that I was awake, was that I gotta look up the schedule for the bus to Lake Louise. I got myself up, grabbed lunch, and made it onto the bus. Now I'm at Lake Louise and I'm getting ready to hike a trail called, oh, I don't remember it. Something about planes and glaciers and the number six. <laughs> I was here a few days ago when I got to go skating, which was an unbelievable experience. It only, I could only skate for 15 minutes, but that was okay. It was so windy and so freezing, I didn't mind. Today, it's cool to be back here because I can actually see the blue of the glacier up in the mountains. Yes, there is a person climbing that. Oh, it's called the Plain of Six Glaciers. Sorry, I'm chewing while saying this. I'm eating a muffin, but that's where I came from. Already gone so far. This trail is no joke. I am dying. Just taking a break to catch my breath. This place is so cool so magical because it is a snow season there's less people so there's a bigger chance of me seeing an animal avalanches do happen so if you're inexperienced or on the fence about this trail it's definitely one to not be taken lightly i did think to myself am i sure i want to do this but Here's the thing with danger, like, who knows what's going to happen, you know? There are so many accidents that have happened that could not have been prevented. And I think reasonable risks are okay. Like, riding in a car is dangerous. Most people ride in a car every day. Even though this isn't, you know, perfectly unrisky, it's like... I would rather take a little risk in life than hold myself back from doing the things that I really want to. Here for a good time, not a long time. Making progress. 2.2 kilometers, which in real life I calculated it wrong, but really it's about 1.4 miles. To add one more thing to our potential risk conversation, I pay attention to what the the people that are in charge, like the park service or the state forest, wherever you are, pay attention to what the governing body of whatever recreational land you're on says about it. Some things like hiking um, Angel's Landing in Zion in a snowstorm is like very much unadvised. I don't know if it's illegal or just they really discourage it, but that's one thing, whereas this hike, you know, it's on all trails. It was listed on the park map. There's signs saying go at your own risk, but I think that's just like, there's a small possibility of something happening. We're trying to not get sued. We're trying to make sure everyone knows what's up. That's another thing I take into consideration when doing something potentially risky or not. That mountain has a glacier on it. 
And there's another one on there, and another one there. I'm really glad I went on that glacier tour in Alaska, and now I know, like, if it's bluish snow, it's probably a glacier. The nice patch down path I've been following is buried under this snow apparently. I don't know how much further I can go on just because of how much effort it is to walk in snow that's not pushed down. Well, that's not too bad. Oh gosh, there goes my leg. So, I guess I'll just have to be prepared for the possibility of sinking at any minute. That was only a few. Oh, there we go. This is kind of fun, though. This is how you know you're on a real adventure. I'm still um, walking on unpacked snow post holing I think they call it but look at this beautiful sunlight coming through those icicles reflecting the light sure are pretty but if you look at that hill I think that's where the path is so that's gonna be tough What a wonderland. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I've, I've been walking through that. You know, it looks so tough and nearly impossible from a distance. But when you're in it, it's just one foot in front of the other. Oh my goodness. This place. Although, I say that, but at the same time. I can't see where the trail goes from here. See, before it was somewhat packed down, but now I guess that might be it. Uh, I might turn around soon. Well, I followed the ridges in the snow up here, but now nothing really looks like a path. Um, Looks like the whole rest of the way to the tea house would be buried, so. Yeah, I guess this is gonna be my destination for the day, which is okay. Like, even though the tea house or the, sea point, or the scenic viewpoint would have been cool, this is cool too. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in heaven right now. Everything is so pristine and majestic. Looking behind me, I see this little, what looks like it could be a place where the waterfall of ice comes out from the wall and there might be a little cave. right here is in the normal vertical icicle texture. I wonder how it got like that. Since 
since I'm in this insanely lovely place, I might as well take a few minutes to take it all in and have some lunch. This little um, wrap was seven dollars and thirty cents. Seven Canadian dollars. Mm. Oh my goodness. Wraps in beautiful places. This is like the perfect moment right now. Glittery snow. If, oh, glittery snow. Insanely epic views. My own ice castle behind me. And a delicious wrap. It was worth the seven dollars. had such a good time discovering the little ice cave for myself, looking at the beautiful snow and mountains and everything, but my toes are getting numb, so back we go. Can't sit here much longer. Man, shout out to my crampons for not sending me careening down this hill. Luckily, <laughs> Going back isn't as difficult because I can just step in my own post holes. Because my original trail was cut short, I think I will go on up this beehive thing. Sounds pretty cool. I bet it's, when you're looking out onto the lake, I bet the beehive is the round one. It looks like a beehive. Since it is one of the mountains, it's very, very steep. Doing a whole lot of climbing. Like seriously, these switchbacks do not end. Got some very cool plant species up here. Could be old man's beard or something similar. Oh man. Because it's sunny, snow is melting and falling off of tree branches. And the tree branches move and make a noise and freak me out. Oh, what a hike. I've resorted to carrying my backpack on my front to give my back sweat a chance to dry. If you are a casual hiker, I don't really recommend this trail. It's switch backing up, you know, and it's tough. The, the main thing that's making me wanna keep going is I'm hoping to hike the Appalachian Trail this summer and gotta get used to steepness and Keeping going, even when it's rough. Oh my gosh. Big beehive. Still over a kilometer away. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Look how steep and hard to walk on this looks. Oh my goodness. Going at approximately one mile per hour. Every corner in the switchbacks I come to, I have to stop and take a break. I put my backpack back on my back, but I resorted to crop topping <laughs> my torso layers. Oh my gosh. Follow me for more fashion inspo. How to look trendy in a forest. Walking up a mountain in the snow for several hours. Gotta be looking good. Realistically, I don't want to stop, but in a half an hour, it's going to be three o'clock. So 
sun's been setting like, I don't know, probably at five lately. I mean, like it's been getting dark then. I don't know the exact moment the sunset, but I'm gonna give myself a half an hour and we'll see how far I get. Cool view down there before when we were more, you know, lined up with the lake, there was a ski resort, but now you can't see that. It looks like a road and maybe another lake down there. It's only five minutes to when I said I would quit, but I see sky up there. So maybe I will make it. Some of you might be laughing at how hard I'm breathing, but I am not about to try to breathe softer for the point of this video. I am doing work and I'm gonna breathe as loudly as I want to. Big beehive lookout just over there, but the snow isn't packed down. That's gonna be a problem. You know what? Look, I'm past my knee deep. I'm not gonna walk all the way over there. So this is my final destination. Too bad I didn't get to see the lookout, but oh well. Still so proud of myself for getting up here. Look, look at those mountains. So huge, and I'm almost on the same level as them. I'm back at this sign and I'm thinking this is the way I came from and it says to get back to Lake Louise it would be 5.3 kilometers or going to Lake Louise via this mere lake would be less than that so might as well see something new this time and go a different way look there it is already Lake Louise and the hotel where I started. Oh my gosh, you can see people on the trail that I walked. They look like ants. This place is also this trail. Oh my gosh, one second, I have to show you this. I'm walking along on this trail, la la la, and then I look over and boom! Look at that sunlight on that hillside and then the ridge behind it and the ridge behind it the mountain behind it i should say oh my gosh oh and you can hear the construction noise how peaceful and natural anyway i was about to say this place looks like it's been covered in like marshmallow cream doesn't it it reminds me of the song it's marshmallow land in the winter when the snow comes to cover the hill. Da -da 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 Something about ice cream. I wait for it all year round. Whew. Now this part is a little bit treacherous. Kind of nervous about going for a tumble, but also I've been skating on that skating rink. Not very merry this time of year, but I can just imagine how cool that must look. Oh man, that really does look like a beehive too, with the texture of the rock.
It's 4.20 and I'm back. You can tell by the construction noise in the background. As I waited for the bus to come take me back, I watched the clouds passing over the mountains. The same mountains where I got to spend my whole day. What a place to wander around in.